Hi Crystal Souls, hope you're doing great. Today I'm coming with a new picky card reading and this one is about what are the challenges you will have to face for growth. To pick your card you can press pose, meditate on them and select the one that your intuition is picking. Of course you can use a pendulum for this step. And when you are ready, you can find a timestamp in the comments down below. And if you are interested, I also provide my services. So if you want to book a personal reading with me, I'll be so happy to help you. All you need to do is to find all the details in the description down below. And same thing for my spiritual shop, which by the way, I'm going to add a lot more of accessories. Also this necklace I'm actually wearing. And yeah, a lot of accessories. And also you can find decks out there. So if you are interested, make sure to take a look at it. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post art, fashion, writing, spirituality and a lot of things actually. I also provide um, daily energy readings sometimes in my story, so if you are interested, make sure to follow me out there. All right, now it's time for your reading, so let's do it. So here's the first group with the Labradorite, the second group with the Amethyst, and the third group with Jasper. Let's start with the first group. So the overall energy is the Magician card. This one symbolizes personal power, action, potential and innovation. This is really good. I'm seeing that what you may have been challenged with or what you will be challenged with is actually for your own growth, for your own magic in order for you to manifest the best life because this one has enough power to manifest whatever it desires. You can see that you master all um, the suits. So you have the sword, the wand, the cup and also the pentacles and you are looking at this card like if it was in a way um, what you are going to manifest, your future, you are looking at it. So you are paying attention to what you want to manifest and I think this is also a new beginning for you. I'm seeing the number one. So it can be that what you will actually attract your way, what you will manifest your way is something that you have been dreaming of for a long time and I think this challenge that will manifest or the things that will manifest will challenge you in a positive way. This is in order for you to grow, this is in order for you to attract a new, be a new beginning that will be exciting for you. And because you are magical, I believe this is something that will be pure. And this is also telling you what you actually think of and believe and all the attention you put into one thing, this is actually what is going to magically appear in your universe, in your reality, because as you may know, you are the designer of your destiny, of your reality, so what you think of and what you believe is going to be super important. So if you want to actually attract positive things in your life, you need to have a very positive mind. And if, for example, you attract a lot of things that are pretty dark or a lot of painful lessons, be aware that this is because you are actually thinking about it, even sometimes unconsciously. And it can be that you will need some subconscious um, reprogrammation, so healing, maybe going back in the past and, you know, rethinking of a situation in a positive way and seeing that it was benefiting your growth in order for you to start this new beginning with this magic and this magic that will be used into something positive. So I'm seeing that things will turn out into a beautiful beginning and into something that will empower yourself. The Five of Swords. This one symbolizes conflict, self-interest, betrayal and deceit. Alright, this can be in relationships, this can be at work as well, but I believe you are going to be challenged in order for you to understand if you are powerful enough to stand on your feet. You can see that this one is wounded, you're still bleeding, you're still fighting for freedom, I believe. The number five represents change, by the way, and also balance, magic, creation. So this is very linked. This is the magic you actually manifest in your life. And I believe what you are actually welcoming as a lesson, as a challenge, is here to make you heal and, you know, stand on your feet. Be strong no matter what happens to you. And this can be, as I said, in a relationship. So maybe at work, maybe with the people around you, maybe with, with your friends. You know, sometimes they hurt us without, you know, us actually talking about this because it doesn't feel good to talk about our wounds or be seen as someone that is too fragile. But I'm saying that your authenticity is going to be very 
beautiful and also welcomed. So if you feel like there's some trauma or conflict in your relationships, it's time for you to talk about your wounds, to talk about how you feel, in order for you to actually create a new beginning that will be positive, so you won't have to stand up for yourself and won't have to defend yourself that much because people will be more careful with the way they talk to you, with the words they use, with the action they make towards you because they are not supposed to hurt you and you are not supposed to actually be okay with this abuse. So it's time for you to move on, to free yourself from this if you feel like the persons around you do not understand that and do not really support yourself or do not actually make you feel good. So it's always conflictual, it's always like you need to defend yourself, you need to fight for you being hurt or something like this. It's time for you to understand if this relationship is more making you grow or destroying you. And if it's the second option, it's time for you to move on, it's time for you to fight for yourself and to stand for yourself and only direct yourself towards people that are going to bring you magic and create a loving relationship, an understanding relationship. I think this is pretty much related to actually the challenges you will have to face in relationships. It can also be in a project, but I'm saying that actually this may more be related to relationships. But if it's for a project, if it's for a career, if it's for a direction you want to take, it can be that you will have to stand strong. It can be that it will be very difficult for you to get there. It can um, actually challenge you in, in different ways and maybe the way you see things unfolding will be completely different. So it will kind of create some type of resistance. You'll be conflicted inside because you thought it would be easy, but you're saying that there's some type of resistance, there's some type of um, difficulties in the way, but you can manage to go there and, you know, walk further and actually grow things to this. So do not see it as something that you cannot achieve, even though for some people it may be you redirecting yourself because this talks about change and a new beginning. So it can be that what is actually blocking your way uh, to grow can actually be a sign that you need a redirection. Of course, if you feel like it, it doesn't have to be that this is for everyone. For some people, you need to push further, but for some of you, it's a redirection being presented to you. The year event. Again, we have the number five. So I'm saying that there might be a change coming your way for a lot of you. And I think it's time for you to embrace this one. There is so much positivity and growth on these cards. And even though it's a bit conflictual in, in the beginning, or maybe this will be a little... Uh, challenging and hard for you to accept this. This is going to benefit your growth. This is going to allow you to actually transcend, expand and grow and ascend into something positive and new for you. So this one symbolizes education, spiritual guidance, ceremony and tradition. This is for me someone that will actually awaken. For some of you, maybe you have been awakening, maybe, maybe you have been in this transition already, but it can be that this conflict, especially in relationships, this is what is going to allow you to ascend and also to transcend and see things from a spiritual perspective or from a soul perspective. And this is what is going to allow you to grow, allow you to welcome positive things and manifest them as well, because I am seeing that this one is manifesting the magic in, um, or universe or his universe and so I think your reality is really being made and and built with your thoughts with your beliefs right now so try to pay attention to anything you think because this may be very important for you to manifest so if for example you want to manifest something but in your mind there's always it's always this negative voice always sabotaging what you manifest it's time for you to catch this voice and tell yourself what am I manifesting right now? And actually transform this part that was negative into something positive in order for you to attract this positivity in your life. This is you reprogramming yourself in order for you to actually think positive and manifest positivity in your life. So yeah, I'm seeing change coming your way. I'm seeing some type of evolution spiritually. And I'm seeing that some of you might want to open your third eye. Maybe this is a sign that you need to open it in order for you to get a clear vision of what is going to be best for your future in relationships, in your education, it can be at work, it can be in any project, it can be even for traveling, any advices that you may receive thanks to the visions you may receive through the third eye or 
any senses that you want to expand. It doesn't have to be that this is just the third eye, but I'm seeing this one, so it might be relevant for some of you. And you can also see the crown on this hat. So this means to me, beyond the magician, you are a queen or a king, and it's time for you to get your throne back. You know, be successful, manifest the success, manifest your happy life, your dream life, in order for you to, yes, connect with your higher self. I'm saying that this connection might be with people, but it can also be with the spirits, with your higher self, with um, the person's higher self you want to unite with. It can be your twin flame as well. It can be your soulmate, trying to connect with the spirits, the energy around you, in order for you to manifest this change, this creation and magic into something positive. And this is just telling you the power is in your hand. Now it's time for you to manifest the past. The Devil card. This one symbolizes obsession, temptation, excesses, self-destructive self desires. All right, I'm saying that this is pretty much you being tied to someone that is negative or that is actually stopping you to experience the best. And it can be in any type of relationship, really. It can be your friends, it can be your family, it can be a romance. It can also be you being obsessed about someone. Maybe you have a crush on someone and this is stopping you to experience the best because you are so attached to whatever you dream about. So if it's a true relationship and if you have a crush on someone that is pretty healthy, then it's okay. But if this isn't healthy, if this is too much of obsession, if you only think about the person or just, I don't know, you will, you will sense if it's healthy or not. But I believe if it's not healthy, and it doesn't have to be about obsession and crushes, this can be in relationships that you have around you and that you experience every day. So if it's the case, try to find a way out. Try to find a way to cut the cord with these people in order for you to free yourself because I'm seeing you two being tied up to the devil. So there might be some type of contract between you two. This can be a karmic relationship. This can be something that happened already that is in the past. And so maybe this is a reminder that there is still some healing to do out there in order for you to start to change into something that is a lot more brighter so you won't have to defend yourself and start a new beginning that is going to manifest the magic in your universe, in your reality. So I think, again, it's beautiful because you can see the number five, five, and five, one, one. So this is just about change and a new beginning. It's time for you to transform the energy. It's time for you to welcome something new. It is time for you to mold your reality into something that you desire. So if you are around people that you do not respect, that you do not like, that you feel the need to change, this is because you are not with the right company. So it's time for you to move on. Cut the cord of these people. You know, thank them because they were teaching you some things. Maybe they were teaching you love in a way. Or maybe they taught you a way to accept yourself fully. You know, thank them. Forgive them for all the things they did wrong. Forgive yourself as well. And also thank yourself for giving this relationship a chance because this was making you a better person. But now it's time for you to seek for something that is beautiful to see clearly the situation because your third eye is open. You are not going to be accepting any illusions. You are going to welcome the truth and seek for more of it. So it's time for you to only welcome what is going to be true, what is going to be strong, what is going to make you empower yourself and not actually minimize yourself or making you feel like you are not enough all the time or defending yourself because you are not seen. So if this is the energy that is around you or that was around you, this is something that needs to be in the past. You need to meditate if you feel like this is something in the past, but this is still triggering you in this present moment with different people. This can be that this is time for you to seek in the past, what she was ignoring, what she was not actually welcoming as healing, or that you needed to heal and so you brushed it out and just, you know, was putting this under the carpet, but this is still there. So it's time for you to see it, understand it, forgive it and move on from it because the energy needs to be released in order for you to experience this new beginning. All right, now I'm going to share the Oracle cards with you. And again, we are having the number five, <laughs> attachment. As I said, there is some type of attachment that is not healthy for you. 
So I think you will know who I'm talking about because it will trigger some type of emotion, some type of feeling. Okay, I know who this person is. I know that there's something that is not healthy between us. And I think it's time for me to recognize it. It's time for me to free myself from this. I'm seeing this attachment as something pretty old. You are seeing a lot of spider webs here. And this can be some type of prison or telling this is so cold that it's time for you to clean this up. It's time for you to, you know, free this. It's funny. Look at it. Clean this up. Clean it up. It is time for you to really face it. It's time for you to actually clean this up. Clean this old energy because this is making you attached to the, the person that is not right for you. Someone that is not actually loving you, seeing you, supporting you. This is not love. And this old manipulation or energy that is not benefiting your growth is actually stopping you to get out there. It's stopping you to be your best self. It's stopping you to love yourself fully. It's stopping you to manifest beauty and positivity. So you may know that when you are around really negative people, they also sabotage your energy and your manifestation. So this is super important for you to move on. It's super important for you to change and create something new. The number five is all about it. Creation, balance, magic, and change coming your way. It's time for you to cut the cord, you know, break those chains, move on to something new, and be excited for this change because this is a beautiful one. I can tell because there is so much magic. You are magical. You can attract whatever you desire. You can manifest whatever you desire. And do not blame the people that were talking torturing you in a way or that we're creating some type of conflict because they did their best and when you know that you can let go even more easily because you won't be triggered too much you'll, you'll know that they were doing their best because you know the way they treat yourself it's the way they treat themselves as well as well so this attachment doesn't have to be poisonous and if you see that they were doing their best, you was doing your best, and there's nothing to regret, there's nothing to point into something negative, or yes, attach too much of negativity around it, because that's in the past now. And it's time for you to become your own pillar, I'm seeing a pillar here. But this one is also linked to the chains, so it's time for you to really remove these chains in order for you to be strong, in order for you to only get healthy attachment. I am seeing you looking to someone different because I'm seeing this mask being presented here. And this mask represents for me someone you don't know or maybe you are starting to know who the person is. But for some people, you don't know who this person is going to come. And this one is going to offer you freedom. But I also believe this person shouldn't be doing the work that you need to do. It is your work to clean this up. It is your work to cut the cord with this this relationship or this thing that is blocking you to go further and to manifest your dream life. It can be fears. It doesn't have to be that this is, you know, relationships, but it can be that the devil will present your fears, your blockages, maybe your low self-esteem or something that is blocking you to go further and to grow and to welcome something that is going to be positive. So the challenges for you is about cutting the cord of attachment, cleaning out this old energy because you deserve better. You deserve something that is going to make you grow, that is going to make this life exciting. And you need a clear space. Again, I'm going to say that I, I know I already told you about this in other readings, but a clear space or a clean house, a clear room, this is what is going to allow you to function correctly because the energy, how clean your room is, is going to reflect who uh, who you are, how you think. Because if you think clearly, you need a clean space. If you are having a messy mind or you think about too many things, it can be that you are collecting a lot of things and your room is a bit messy. So when you will need to actually clean your mind, I think it's also beneficial for you to clean your space and also clear the energy. You can also use sage to clean your energy you can also use Palo Santo, you just burn it and with the smoke. I mean, you can find a lot of videos showing you how to clear the energy. So I think this is beneficial for you to do that. Clean your space, clean it deeply, arrange things, make it tidy and also clean the energy. Open your windows, uh, let the air enter your space, refresh the air, refresh the energy. 
and this is what is going to allow you to move all this negativity all this negativity that were in your mind and projected into your room because actually when you stay in your room and think the energy your thoughts are energy and they stay around you and they travel as well so it's super important to always refresh the air at least once a day in order for you to get a clear space a clear space with energy so anyway this is pretty much related to something that you are attached to that is blocking you to ascend that is blocking you to experience the best but it's time for you to change it's time for you to move on to an energy that is going to allow you to experience the best and the number two is union and the number one is about a new beginning so it can be that when you will clear this energy, you will be presented someone because I'm seeing union, but I'm also seeing this mask. So this is someone that is going to enter your life when you will free yourself from this attachment that is not healthy. And look at this, victory. So again, this is just confirming that this is going to change into something positive and this will feel like victory. This will feel like justice in a way because you've been actually experiencing so much darkness but you are seeing the, the end of the tunnel. You are seeing that this is the end now and you are creating this shift, this change in order for you to experience the best. So even though you was challenged in uh, your past or maybe in your present moment, this is in order for you to understand what is meaningful for you. And I believe this is about relationships, this is about your dreams as well. This is something that you want to manifest as a victory in your life. I'm also saying that some people are trying to prove something to their parents or friends and so they are actually surrounded by fears because they really want to be successful. They really want it to be a victory to prove something to others. But the thing is, you shouldn't prove things to others. You should just be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself of who you are right now at this present moment because you are beautiful, you are doing your best and this is all that matters. So you do not have to prove anything to anybody. This contract and attachment to people telling you, um, no, no, you telling them, I need to do that in order for me to be valid for that person or for me to be valued by my parents because they do not see me. But if I do that, maybe they will see me. No, you are not supposed to do that to be loved. You are not supposed to do something to actually be valid for someone. If they do not see you for who you are right now, for the beautiful person you are right now, quit it. You are not supposed to satisfy someone else. You're supposed to satisfy yourself and to be proud of yourself. And trust me, you can be proud of yourself because you have been doing so much magic. You are manifesting so much magic and you don't have to manifest to prove anything to anyone, even yourself. You shouldn't manifest to prove yourself. I'm capable of doing that. You are capable no matter if it manifests or not. So be loving with who you are, be proud of yourself, support yourself, give you a path in the pack because you deserve it. You're beautiful, you're powerful and now it's time for you to clear this energy and the, these fears that are attached to maybe a low self-esteem because it's time for you to love yourself, to build yourself strongly, to have a positive mind and also see yourself as someone that can be victorious because as i said you manifest what you think and believe of so it's time for you to manifest this victory and as i said not to prove yourself you can't do it because you can but just to be proud of yourself just to live the best life because you deserve it and the last one TikTok. <laughs> yes the time is running so it's it's funny you're seeing the number three here and the number three is about um, actually birth and growth and so the these challenges and this is just the conclusion because this is the last card so this is just telling you if you do the work and if you work with manifestation the law of attraction love yourself think positively this is going to turn into a success this is going to make you grow and also the number zero is about completion so and also protection so completion it means for me the dream is going to manifest but the time is running now the time is running and this is in order for you to only welcome what is going to allow you to manifest the best. I just realized that you was not seeing the names. Okay, but yeah, I'm saying that things are going to be in motion, things are going to change. Now it's in your hand. 
It's in your hands. It's presented to you. The time is running, even though time is an illusion. You know, it's here. It's being presented to you to fly with this one and manifest something right now. Start to manifest right now because the more you actually put the energy into something pos positive that you want to manifest, this is going to happen even more quickly. So yes, the time is running out. It's time for you to clean your space. It's time for you to clean the energy that is stopping you to clear away these attachments that are not benefiting your growth because it's time for you to grow. It's time for you to feel complete as well. And it's time for you to go with the flow and welcome this freedom and, you know, manage your time maybe. Maybe some of you are pretty messy with the way you actually um, schedule your things or the way you actually work and so you're not putting enough time into something that is meaningful for you. It can be. Maybe some of you are in... Um, not relationships or maybe relationships and and so you're wasting your time with that person it can be or it can be you working at a place that doesn't feel good and so you are wasting your time doing this because you can manifest your dream and feel like this is something I want to do and this is going to turn into a victory so what I'm saying is that there may be some attachment and limits and fears that stops you to manifest this victory and this, this shift and change in your life. So I think it's time for you to move on, it's time for you to welcome it, it's time for you to get the best out of it. You know, you are manifesting this one, so may this one be positive, may your life be positive. All right, I think this is pretty much what I see here for you, so if you find it accurate, please let me know down below what you think, and also do not forget to subscribe. All right, let's move on to the second group. And the second group. So the overall energy is the Four of Pentacles. This one talks about possession, security, material focus and control. This is nice. This is really nice. I'm saying that you may actually know what you are meant to do. You may actually know what is going to turn into a success for you. This can be in a relationship. This can be in your education, maybe at school, it can also be a confirmation that everything is going to be okay for you. Things are going to turn into something positive because you are dedicating your time to make it grow. You are dedicating your energy to manifest your dream life, to manifest what you desire in life. So this is going to benefit whatever you actually want to manifest in your life and what is going to be positive for your growth as well because I am seeing that things are changing into a positive way and they might be here to benefit some type of aspect. So I am seeing connections here. This can be in your relationships. I'm seeing the phone here. This can be you communicating with others, but it can also be building a business or being uh, creating something online. It can be that this group maybe, maybe want to be successful on social medias. So your challenge is going to be uh, to be seen, to actually create a strategy to grow out there. Um, it can be in your work. It can be um, at school as well. Or it can be just improving your relationships so you can build very strong connections. These connections can also be related to if you want to be successful online, it can be having good connections. Maybe this is an end for you to understand. You need to build a, an authentic connection with the audience that you may want to you know, talk to. Because I'm saying that there is something that you want to manifest and you can see the pentacle sign on the eye. And this is like a lens for you. So you are going to only see life and this thing you want to manifest as something important for you. So in my opinion, this is you understanding your priorities and working towards it. And this is what is going to allow you to be successful because this is talking about this. This is you actually creating an environment of security because you are abundant enough. You are manifesting whatever is going to make you grow into life. And as I said, this can be something material and also the number four represent material unity and heaven. So this is something that will turn and grow into something positive. So I'm saying that maybe the challenge for you is to grow, is to grow more connections. It can be 
growing thanks to what you do because I believe you are in the right path or actually knowing what is going to be your next step so you are directing yourself in the right direction. So I think this is pretty much of you finding a strategy that is going to be your challenge in order for you to create and manifest more growth in your life and also something that will reward you abundance. What was I saying? <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. So this one symbolizes destiny, change of fortune, what will be, will be, and continual motion. I'm seeing that this group is pretty much on the right path, doing what they are supposed to do. And this is why they are starting to receive this abundance, starting to receive support from your angels, because I'm seeing the angel sign here. And I'm also seeing that you are being guided. So if you don't know what to do, if you are feeling lost, this is pretty much telling you look at the signs, look at the synchronicities who are actually giving you. So this is a message from the universe, your spirit guides, maybe the spirits around you, maybe your angels, because they want you to experience the best. And this fortune card is all about abundance, not just about money, but having good relationships, manifesting positivity. And you are welcoming this one on this card and also manifesting this one because you have the power to manifest what you desire. So when you know that this is going to offer you the opportunity for you to direct yourself on a path that is going to be successful. And I'm seeing that towards uh, the path you are going to take, you are going to receive some symbols, synchronicities, and this is just in order for you to always understand you are being supported by your guides and angels. And they are also showing you the direction that is best for you in every moment of your life. I'm seeing you being supported for a lifetime here. And this is why you are going to achieve the prophecy, direct yourself towards something you are destined to manifest. And this is something positive, something that is going to allow you to create this abundance, manifest this abundance in order for you to live the best life. And you can see the number 10 here. And this one symbolizes endings. So maybe someone is about to end something to direct themselves towards a dream, towards something that is meaningful for you. I believe this is your life's purpose. And the 10 also represent completion, by the way. So I believe some of you are already on the right path. But for some of you, you may need to end something in order for you to redirect yourself. Especially if you feel like things are pretty stagnant, things are not working, things are not growing. So it's challenging you to take a new direction, end something in order for you to start something that is meaningful for you. Something that is calling for you. Also, because I believe you will see all these synchronicities and sometimes our fears kind of condense it and we refuse to see the, the signs and we believe this is just, it is just a coincidence that I'm seeing all these signs, I'm creating it. The thing is, sometimes it's not the case. It's actually here, it's actually here for a good reason. It's actually here for you to understand the message clearly in order for you to welcome this energy and also dig into it, you know, go into this one, follow this path and welcome what is ev whatever is going to come for you because I believe this is what is going to make you feel complete. This is what is going to offer you this fortune. So if you stay, for example, in a relationship or at a workplace or maybe studying something that you do not feel passionate about, this is for me a clear sign that you are not on the right path. And so you are going to be presented something new. So maybe this is a calling for you. But I believe you will know what is right for you. You will know what is best for you to do. So when you will know, then go for it. Seek for it. You know, this is your mission. This is something you are actually needed to welcome in your life in order for you to grow as well. The Anged Man. This one symbolizes isolation, sacrifice, trial, perseverance and contemplation. This is what I'm saying. For some people, you may be doing something that you are not meant to do and you're forcing your way out there because people are telling you, do not give up or maybe you are telling yourself, do not give up because I don't know what to do hell's than that. But trust me, I know that you know what to do. It's just that you are too fearful to start it. So I think this is challenging you. I think for some people, you are still in a situation with someone or at a workplace or maybe doing something in your studies that you feel forced to do that because you fear to do something that you are very passionate about or maybe fear to just tell um, the people around you this is what I want to do so if you accept it 
great. If you don't accept it, great, because I'm going to go for it. I'm going to seek for my dream. I'm going to manifest my dream. And this is how I'm going to be fortunate. This is how I'm going to receive this abundance. And this is how I'm going to feel complete as well. The number one is a new beginning. The number two is union. This is also you reuniting with yourself, with your dream, in order for you to cut these ties and move forward towards something. This can also be here to tell you. It's time for you to see things from a different perspective. It can be that for some of you that are starting something, it can be offering you a new perspective of things. Maybe you need to learn from others. Maybe you need to ask for a new perspective in order for you to see the big picture. It can be. So I'm saying that for some people that are already uh, on track, this is maybe uh, a hint for you to tell you, you need help. You need people that will empower yourself, bring you a new vision, um, help you to learn things in order for you to grow, in order for you to grow this business or this project that you may have. It can also be that someone is going to inspire you to see your relationship differently or that is going to offer you to meet someone that will actually empower yourself to see this life differently and will make you grow into a beautiful person. So I'm seeing change coming for you, even though you may be in, on the right path. I'm seeing that things will um, be presented to you for your growth. I'm not saying that this will be so much of a challenge, except if you are still stuck in this energy and still transitioning. But I believe this is a challenge that will feel like freedom. Because you will free yourself from the pressure, you will feel you free yourself from the fears and also from people's opinions because you will now think for yourself, you will now live for yourself and direct yourself on a path with excitement because this is something you wanted to do. Of course, this is going to be challenging in the beginning. This is going to create some type of fear as well because you don't know um, how this is going to be. But I'm saying that this is going to offer you exactly what you desire and the success is going to manifest. So it's time for you to direct yourself towards something new. Free yourself in order for you to accept and welcome what is beautiful and positive in your life. The King of Sword, again, and this one is talking about knowledge. So I believe you need to gain more knowledge in order for you to direct yourself um, with the right person, it can be, or in the right direction for your future, because this talks about destiny. So of course, this is something that needs to be planned now for you to live the best life or for you to live the best relationship. So this one symbolizes someone who is analytic, experienced, authoritative, and intelligent. This is maybe the one you will attract, maybe the king or the queen, because this is a general reading. So it can be someone who is very intelligent, someone who will offer you a new perspective of life, of love even. Or it can be a partner you will unite with for a business. It can be. Or maybe at school someone is very close to you that is going to offer you a new perspective. And so you will gain knowledge thanks to this person because this one is so knowledgeable, very wise and also very open. I'm saying that when this person trusts you because this one is actually looking um, at you and understanding if you are worth their time, if you are actually wanting to improve and grow or if you are just asking for help but not wanting to put the work into it. So I'm only saying that you will get the help of this person only if you are going to be dedicated to live your best life. So this one is going to be maybe a test, you know, someone that is a test that was put on your road in order for you and for the universe to understand, are you ready now to manifest this fortune? Are you ready now to experience the best life? Are you ready to live your dreams? Because no, this is not going to be the easy road, but this is going to be exactly what you want, exactly what you are excited about. So I think this person is going to be kind of a, the guardian of this gate, kind of to test you to know if you are ready for this change, because I'm seeing the butterfly here. And the butterfly represent change coming, transformation and rebirth. So maybe you need to also transform yourself before welcoming this person or welcoming this change in your life that is going to offer you clarity, intelligence with you or, or the way you will actually move on with your future because you will see it from a different perspective that is going to empower your vision. So you will direct yourself towards clarity. You have the moon here and the moon is also related to your dreams. So this is a clear message for me. 
when you will direct yourself towards your dream, this is what is going to make you feel complete. I'm seeing the number 10, but I'm also seeing the circle. And the circle is for me completion and protection. And this can also be someone who will protect you because I'm seeing that he has the sword. You know, being hidden um, in the back. So it can be to defend yourself, it can be to defend himself as well. So it can be that this person is going to be pretty analytic when you will come because this person wants the best company and only teach people the best advices when they are actually serious with what they desire you to do. So it can also be an offer of work, it can be someone presenting you knowledge, it can be someone wanting to engage in a relationship, not just about romance but it can be friendship, it can be um, around you to support you, it can be a coach, it can be anything like this because I'm seeing this person as someone that is going to bring you the knowledge that maybe you are missing right now to live your best life or your best relationship. Alright, I'm going to share the oracle cards now. So the first one is beautiful, blossoming abundance and we have the number three which is the symbol of growth. So this is exciting, I'm seeing things changing for you, I'm seeing that when you'll be on the right path and directing yourself towards something that is meaningful for you, this is when you will attract this abundance and blossom with it, open up with it. I'm also seeing the owl here, so this is a symbol of wisdom. And the butterflies again, so transformation, rebirth. I'm seeing that things are going to change for you into something positive only when you are going to be on the right path, on the right um, direction towards a, a future that you was dreaming of. So it's time for you to put the work into your dream or move towards your dreams if you are not on the right path yet. In order for you to manifest this abundance and be in alignment, um, in alignment with... Um, your life purpose. In enlightenment, yes, of course as well, because you can see the light here. And I think this is divine light. So this means for me, yes, you are going to be guided with your angels, guides, the universe. They are going to make um, the symbols clear for you to understand what is best for you, what is the best destination to take in order for you to have the best partner, have the best job, have the best life, have the best experiences. Because even though this may be challenging for a lot of you to cut the cord to the past or maybe put these fears on mute. So yes, it can be difficult. But I'm also saying that if it's not something that you take right now or that you change, it's going to make you stay stuck. And so it's not, it's not right. You're not supposed to be tied up. You're not supposed to feel like I have to condense my freedom, my wills, my dreams in order for me to live a normal life. What is a normal life? It's a boring life. If you feel like you are trapped into this one, this is not normal. This is boring. This is a trap. This is you being a prisoner of a system. It's time for you to free yourself. It's time for you to gain the knowledge, gain a clear vision because I believe this person is going to bring this vision. It might be a visionary. It might be someone who is very free, very abundant in life. This is when you will understand, I have to learn from this person because this person is living his best life or her best life. Because I don't believe we should actually learn from people that are not actually our sparkle or are having this energy that we admire. If you don't admire someone, do not follow their, or their advices. Only follow someone that is going to be your shining star. This is why when you have models of people that are successful, that are doing what they like to do, that are exciting about life, that are always challenging themselves to grow, this is for me the best person to look at and not someone that is going to be, I don't know, um, you know, friends around you, not living the best life, always being tired, always being negative, always being judgy about people, being successful because in the way they are too afraid to get there. But you can, you can live the best life and trust me, you will. So it's time for you to move on towards something that is going to be positive for you and seek for people that see higher, that always challenge themselves to live the best life, to you know, manifest this abundance in their life because what they want is growth and the number three is, is about growth. So it's time for you to seek for the same vision, to see their vision, understand this one and grow with it. Healer of the ages, Jesus. <laughs> 
Okay, this is beautiful. The, and I'm also seeing another another scenario for you. It can be that this hanged man was actually a representation that some people are suffering in their bodies. It's time for you to heal. And I think this challenge of you being in a body that is painful, that you are experiencing pains, it doesn't have to be that this is physical, it can be emotional, it can be your energy, um, it can be your mind, or anything like this. Because I believe these four layers of healing are super important. The physical body, the emotional body, the energetic body, and also your mind and emotions. So. Yeah, this is, this is in a way to tell you, you need to heal yourself in order for you to reach this abundance. And this can be healing from the fear, healing from this program that is limiting yourself to experience the past. In order for you to reach this fortune, in order for you to be on this path of, of success. So on this card you are seeing the number 5, so this symbolizes change, creation, magic and balance. This can be that you need to heal yourself, to find balance in what you do, to create an opportunity for you to bring the best life. I'm seeing the flames here. This can be twin flame because I'm seeing two of them. Or this can be fire. This can be the fire to heal yourself. Um, you have guided meditations to use fire with archangels. Um, it can also be passion because the fire relates to the passion. So it can be that this passion within your heart is going to explode and manifest in your reality. So it's time for you to work towards uh, what you desire to do, what is your passion, your dreams, in order for them to emanate in your reality. It starts from the heart and the mind as well because there is so much energy here. In order for you to you know, manifest this energy around you. And I believe this will heal you in a way to do what you want to do in order for you to feel at ease and feel proud of yourself as well. Because I'm seeing that this abundance, this growth is going to allow you to live the best life. It's going to allow you to feel proud of yourself and to kind of see yourself as a healer. Maybe you have a number um, 11 as a path life number. So it can be a sign for you that you are meant to be a healer in this lifetime and to follow, follow your passion and to learn from others as well because this is what is going to allow you to expand your gifts. But as a general message, I think this card is pretty much here to tell you it's time for you to heal from the past and use this energy in order for you to manifest what you are passionate to do or maybe manifest someone that is going to be passionate as well. Because if you are still tied up to someone that is not right for you in a romance or in a relationship in general, it can be a sign that it's time for you to change the number five and start a new beginning because our, because we are having the number one here. Come to the edge. This is a card telling you, you need to challenge yourself. You need to challenge yourself and go with the flow. I'm seeing so much love here with the petals representing hers. So this symbolizes for me, if you stay secure, you are going to be a prisoner. But if you actually challenge yourself to come to the edge, you are going to feel free. Look at the energy. This is you staying in your cocoon, not doing so much of improvement, just doing what you are actually doing or just doing what people tell you to do. Or that is actually secure for you to do because you've been doing this for such a long time. So it's something you know you can manage. But if you take risk, this is love coming your way. This is you being positive, being free, dancing, shining, you know, being in motion. And motion brings more energy, more positivity, more experiences your way. But this is pretty static. So what do you want? Do you want this abundance? Do you want growth? Things being in motion, growing with the flow? Do you want to be in motion as well? Travel, be excited, you know, move your body. Um, this can also be a sign that in order for you to heal this body, you need to move. You need to take care of yourself, do some sport, heat healthy as well because I'm seeing the nature here. And also maybe use Reiki or energy to heal yourself because I'm seeing the energy. But yeah, I'm saying that there is some type of change that you need to bring in your life in order for you to be at the age, the edge and move forward towards something that is going to make you grow and that is going to bring you beauty and love. And I just said what exactly the number 36 represent because a three is about growth. It's about birth. So it's like you are going to rebirth from this energy that was condensing yourself 
and the six represent beauty and love so it's time for you to direct yourself towards something that is going to allow you to grow the message in the bottle interesting this can be romance because i'm saying that you may receive a message maybe a phone call it can be anything that you are going to listen to it can be a voice or it can be a call it can be love because I'm seeing a lot of hurt here. So maybe in order for you to manifest the best love, you need to come at the edge. Meaning challenge yourself to maybe confess to the person, diffuse this love as a hint in a way. Because this is forming, you know, um, a line. And so this one, this one that will come will actually need to direct himself towards you thanks to the hints. So this is going to direct yourself maybe towards love. This can be an offer, maybe a call you are waiting for. Um, it can be anything, really. I think this is a message you've been waiting for. And now this, this bottle is floating towards you. I'm also seeing that you may seek for something different because you are having this one, this instrument. I'm, I'm not sure how you call this. Um, but you are going to use this one to gain clear vision, to have clarity about what you want to manifest. And who you want to manifest, maybe because this can be about love. But I believe it's time for you to change, it's time for you to direct yourself towards a new beginning. The number one is about new beginning, the number five, creation, balance, magic and change coming your way. And I think this is just the announcement of this new beginning, this call you may receive, this person talking to you and expressing something that will shift your perspective, will allow you to welcome a new beginning and create this one. This can also be twin flame message because I was seeing the flames here. Just saying, there is something waiting for you, there is something manifesting, there is something changing and this is in order for you to experience the best. All right, I think this is pretty much what I see here for this group, so it's time for me to go and do the last one. And the last group. The overall energy is the lovers. This one symbolizes partnership, commitment, choices, harmony and trust. This is exciting. Yes, I'm saying that what you may, um, you know, encounter as a challenge or something to improve is going to benefit for your love life. It's going to benefit with your relationships in general because love doesn't have to be that this is just a romance, but it can be with your friends, it can be uh, with your family, so any type of relationship. I'm saying that there might be something to improve. I'm saying the angel here. It can be that this union... Ooh, twin flame. I'm seeing twin flame for this group because I'm seeing the flame here and there is this couple, you know, exactly the same. So it's like you are going to mirror this person and twin flames are like this because your twin is actually your split half of the soul. This is why we call it a uh, soul, twin soul, I mean. So yeah, this is pretty much a sign that if you are on this twin flame journey, you may manifest your lover, but maybe you'll be challenged in the beginning of this uh, relationship. Maybe this is more for people that are in separation, but it can also be with a soulmate, it can also be with relationships, as I said. So if it's not what you want, or if it's not what you are seeking for, this may be a message for you that your relationships are going to be very important for your growth and very important for you to experience the best in your life. So it's time for you to, to get closer to these people. I'm seeing the third eye being open. It can be that this communication is going to be with the third eye, especially for people that are wanting to unite with their twins or with their soulmates, because there may be some type of downloads you need to receive, the message you need to receive. Maybe you see the person in your dreams or dream about the person. It can be things you hear, things you see. It can be synchronicities, numbers that represent uh, the person you want to manifest or that you associate with your twin flame or soulmate or people anyway but i'm saying that you are being guided and i think your angels are working on this union angels the universe your spirit guides i think you are going to manifest this union i'm seeing the serpent here on the sign and this symbolizes for me fertility so I think this love is going to be fertile, especially when you will have work on yourself, when you will 
love yourself enough and feel self-sufficient when you won't be needy of love because when you are needy it's because you lack love within yourself so i think the message for you is about self-love it's about loving yourself building yourself into the version that you will admire i'm seeing a spotlight here this can be that you need to bring clarity where darkness is in order for you to heal yourself or this can be the spotlight related to a twin being a celebrity, someone that is well known or you actually shining under the spotlights. So maybe you are the one that is wanting to be, to be a celebrity. You are the one that is wanting to be famous in what you do. You also have a lot of links here and this symbolizes for me connection. So it can be twin flame connection and as I said maybe using your third eye or senses are going to be very helpful for this connection for you to receive the synchronicities, the message from the person. It can also be that you need to work on your connection as a general thing. So maybe with your friend, with your family, uh, with the people around you. I think your connections are going to be super important. So it's time for you to work on them, it's time for you to you know, expand them into something beautiful and loving. So try to treat people the same way you would treat yourself or want to be treated. Try to become the person you want to date in order for you to manifest this type of lover as well because you can see they are twins in a way. They are actually matching each other's faces. They are the perfect mirror. So in order for you to attract the best love, I believe you need to work on yourself and only recognize yourself in someone to know this is the one I've been waiting for. So I think the challenge for you is just about working on yourself and becoming the best self in order for you to attract the person that is like that in your life. The Eight of Cups. This one symbolizes walking away, making changes and fatigue. Alright, so the number eight represents meditation and reflection. This is to me a card telling you, you need some time to think, you need some time alone. So maybe you need this hermit mode, hermit phase in your life in order for you to direct yourself towards something that is going to be meaningful. I'm seeing you leaving those trash behind you, those things that were completely destroyed in order for you to direct yourself towards a city that is being built strong, something new, something that you can trust because this is something that is built strongly. So I think this is a transition phase for you, but I truly believe that you stepping into something new, into something that is going to bring you this clarity, is going to benefit your growth. So even though this may be challenging to move away or uh, maybe to end something, it can be it can also be at work, but I believe this is pretty much related to relationships for this group. So it's time for you to end something, to move forward, to lead yourself towards clarity in order for you to build something strong, in order for you to build something that is going to give you love, understanding, support. You feeling like I now have met someone that can support me, that can understand me, that can see me, because they are very close to who you are. So of course they are going to understand you deeply, they are going to recognize that your path is so similar to their own path and this is why you can grow with a person. So this growth is pretty much, you know, this challenge of growth is pretty much telling you you need to heal, you need to become your best self, you need to work on yourself in order for you to be with the right person, to live the best life. So this is something positive in my opinion. Even though this was maybe difficult for you to move on from this energy, from something that was not working, because for some of you, I feel like this was kind of a defeat for you. You know, you've, you've been working on this relationship or working on a job and you was putting all your time, all your energy into it but things were not working. And so when you look back, you feel like, I've been doing too much. I've been doing so much that I, it made me tired and I'm not seeing this as something positive. I cannot be proud of this, but you can be proud of it. Because this is just an illusion. This is just you being disappointed in the moment, but you can see it with beauty in the eyes. You can see yourself, you know, you've been doing what was right. You've been doing your best. This person as well was doing is best and that's why there's nothing to regret and now you can move forward towards clarity and leave it behind you because this is not serving your your ascension your growth so it's time for you to understand it maybe you need to meditate because the number eight represents 
reflection and meditation as I said before so meditating is going to offer you to maybe see things differently maybe you need to meditate about a moment you experienced that was painful in order for you to leave this out of your way to leave this behind you to cut the cord with the pain with the trauma with the teaching the lesson in order for you to only experience the best next because when you will learn your lessons you won't be uh, you know, they won't actually come back and be presented to you because this is in the past. Or if they are presented, you won't see it as a challenge anymore because you know that you can pass anything. You've been passing this in the past, so of course this is going to be easy for you to move on and to actually pass this lesson again. This is like a routine in a way. But I'm saying that you may actually experience something better. So I think it's time for you to address what is blocking your way, your ascension, what is making you maybe regret something. Or, yeah, I am saying fear attached to that. I'm saying that there might be some blockage. There might be something you want to reconstruct, but this is completely broken. But I believe if it's completely broken, something that is empty, I'm seeing this empty, it's time for you to seek for something different because you are not meant to rebuild things. You are not meant to arrange what is completely destroyed and what is empty as well because there's nothing here to be built. And this is not a part of growth to actually, you know, reconstruct something that is completely a ruin. So yeah, I think this is pretty much here to tell you it's time for you to direct yourself towards something new, to think about yourself, work about work on yourself in order for you to live the best life and to manifest change that will be positive because I'm seeing a lot of motion on on the closest. So yeah, this is change coming your way. This is clarity being presented to you. And even though you may be tired because you are supporting yourself and working towards it, yes, maybe you are tired, but I think this is something that will bring you energy to move forward. The Knight of Swords. So this one symbolizes someone who is determined, compelling and craving action. Wonderful. I think this is pretty much of a transition. This might stay for a few days, maybe eight days, but I'm not saying that this will be something recurrent. Otherwise, this is going to turn into depression. But this is only going to turn into depression if you stay out there. But when you will give yourself a boost, give yourself a chance to move further, then clarity will be presented to you. I'm seeing the moon here. So this is related to your dreams, to clarity, to something that is going to bring light towards something that was pretty dark. Because I'm seeing that the past may be dark for you and this clarity of the moon is going to reflect about what was painful. So it's going to maybe awake some pains, but this is in order for you to heal. This is in order for you to experience the best as well because when you welcome a new energy of healing this these pains these traumas these wounds will remain in the past and this won't be triggered again so this is for me a change a transition something that will bring you uh, positivity and also someone that will actually recognize you, understand you, take care about you, love you fully and unconditionally. I'm not seeing any type of abuse here. This is like someone that can relate to you, someone that can love you and really see the beauty in you. So this one is pretty much put in action, directing himself or herself towards something new. And I'm also seeing the city here. So again, you are directing yourself towards something that can be built strong. And this is for me a symbol that you need to build yourself strong in order for you to live the best life. Because yes, you will encounter a lot of challenges, a lot of things that will maybe trigger the past or the wounds, but if you are strong enough, nothing will destroy you anymore. Nothing will affect you. And this is why you're moving at high speed because now you have the conscious of you manifesting the best, the best life. And you are conscious that you can manifest beauty in your life. You don't have to suffer. Suffering sometimes is a choice, even though we are stuck and even though it's difficult for us to move on, but it's a choice to stay in that energy. So do you want to stay there or do you want to move forward towards something that can you know, manifest this beauty, this energy, this love in your life? Because now it's time for you to choose. And if you are afraid, you may stay in that energy. But if you are wanting change, if you are dedicated to work towards it, 
this is going to manifest. I'm seeing things manifesting here. And this is only because you are making the choice to manifest this one, to change your life and change the energy around you. The Judgment card. So this one symbolizes judgment, revelation, redemption, and renewal. This is a card for me that your angels are going to understand if you are ready. If you are ready to take actions, if you are ready to move on towards something, it's... Oh my goodness. I was talking about spotlights, right, in a celebrity. And you can see the spotlights here and this one is holding a microphone. This can be someone dreaming to be a celebrity, someone that can talk to others, be an inspiration. Um, it can be you motivating crowds, it can be you performing on stage, it can be anything, especially the throat chakra, but it doesn't have to be, this can be performing as a dancer or doing some type of art. So I believe what is going to help you to transcend into a beautiful energy, to something positive, in order for you to be successful, is going to challenge you to be on stage, to be in front of people, to inspire people, to be their coach maybe. Because I'm seeing this um, this outfit as you being a coach or someone that is doing sport. I'm also seeing the circle here. So this means completion and the number zero represent completion and security. So I think you are going to be supported on this journey by your angels and you will also incarnate the angel in a way. You will regain your power and it's time for you to regain it because even though you was in a phase of darkness, of pain and you not being able to move forward freely or with energy, this is telling me it's going to change and this will change when you will make the decision to change because our energy is actually a reflection of our world, of our reality. So I think what is only needed for you is to work on yourself and work towards your goals and dreams because what you desire to do is going to manifest. I'm also saying that for a little of you, these zombies are actually representing exes coming back to you. This can be to challenge yourself because you can now experience the best love and it's time for you to say no. No, 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 I'm not going to take you back. You are just a zombie, you are half dead and what I'm looking for is something that is going to stand strong, not just someone that is half dead that I can blow away and this is completely in pieces. It's, you know, the past is pretty much like dust. This is not structured enough to be strong. So I'm saying that if you was wanting to go back with an ex, this can be a sign that it's not a good idea, there's something waiting for you, and there is love being presented to you, or that will be presented to you. So please go forward, move forward, welcome something that is new, and also embrace this new energy. Shine, show yourself, remove this hood. Why are you, why are you just hiding yourself, hiding your talents? It can be a sign that you are actually hiding your talents because you are too afraid to shine on stage, to shine towards um, your goals or shine to people. Show your true self, your authenticity, your talents, anything like this. I'm saying that you are condensing something refusing to be your best self in front of others so you're just shining in the dark in your in your room maybe just using your talent singing in your room dancing performing making jokes i don't know but i'm saying that you are talented and skills but you are not using them it can be a sign it's time for you to challenge yourself to do your best to manifest whatever you dream to do because you have the potential you are skilled enough to do this so it's time for you to do that Okay, now I'm going to share the oracle cards with you. So the first one is the first chakra in Archangel Michael. Beautiful. I am saying that you need to be grounded. I'm saying that you may actually, you know, not be grounded enough for you to manifest your desires. Or maybe you are too dreamy to work towards your goals. So you need to have a clear um, vision, a clear mind about what you want to manifest and how you are going to manifest it. Because when you ask your mind, how am I going to be successful? Or how am I going to attract the, the right lover in my life? This is going to offer you the opportunity for you to think of um, 
a plan of something you want to manifest and how it's going to manifest so you can work towards it work on this plan you know write down all the things all the ideas brainstorm about all the things you want to do or how you ma you can manage to manifest this in your life because this is going to give you this opportunity to manifest this change i'm seeing the number three here and this symbolizes growth and the number five creation magic balance change coming your way and this is in your hand i think you need to ground yourself especially during meditation because i was seeing the number eight here and the number eight as you may remember this talks about reflection meditation so in order for you to ground yourself you need to meditate heal your chakras as well energize them balance them and what is beautiful i just noticed it the jasper is actually a stone you can use for your root chakra. It can also be that you need some sexual uh, healing energy because this is related to love. There might be some type of trauma that can be sexual or it can be people forcing you to do things or anything like this, maybe from the past or wounds that can um, block you to experience the best or to be grounded in this life. And yeah, I think you need some healing. I think you need some energy in your root chakra to believe in yourself to ground yourself maybe go in nature meditate in nature just sit on the grass and just try to communicate with the trees around you with the birds with the energy around you and try to incarnate this growth as well because you can see the number three so maybe you need to be around people that are growing maybe you need to be around nature when this one is growing to inspire yourself to grow and i think this meditation will be really really beneficial if you direct this one towards growth and also towards healing wounds that were related to your sexual energy um any relationship energy maybe anything that is not making you feel grounded in a way for some reason i just heard cut the cord and i believe this sword that michael is actually having in his hand this means for me you need to cut the cord with toxic people toxic relationships in order for you to free this energy in your root chakra so yes i believe there is some type of healing here in order for you to free yourself because these wings are meant to fly and you are meant to experience the best life so i think there's something that is stopping you to you know live live the best life and fly with this freedom and manifest this energy so you need to ground yourself and I'm going to move forward with this one because I think this is pretty connected as well. So again, this is just telling you, you need to meditate. You need to be one with the universe. Connect with your spirit guides as well because I'm seeing the stars here and the energy, you know, being absorbed by you. And you also incarnate. This is beautiful. This is everything I was saying. Look, the nature. You need to meditate in nature. Incarnate the growth of the nature of the, the flowers here. In order for you to gain this energy. You know, this energy is just merging towards you, within you. So I think you need to maybe use crystals. Um, nature, I believe this is going to be more powerful. In order for you to manifest this energy within you. Embody this energy. Clear the energy of traumas in order for you to find peace and in order for you to open your wings and fly with whatever you want to manifest in your life whether it's love whether it's a project a career anything because i think you are the answer but what is blocking you maybe some past traumas something that is toxic that is stopping you to ascend and you can see the number two here this can be related to union so relationships maybe something is blocking you because you was experiencing some traumatic experiences with someone and so it's time for you to forgive them to forgive yourself and free yourself and grow thanks to this experience it was growing beautifully so this is why you don't have to you know think about the person you know negatively or attach too much negative to what you experience just embrace this journey be grateful for what you experience even though it was painful it was teaching you some beautiful lessons and you was becoming more beautiful more stronger thanks to them you can also see these bubbles here so it can be you need to be in your bubble to actually grow to ground yourself to breathe just take some time to relax. I think you are pressuring yourself too much. I think you're blaming yourself even for the things that happened with people or happened to yourself. You are not 
responsible for the things you attracted, even though you may have been attracting them. But you are not responsible for how they turned out as a lesson. So it's time for you to free yourself, to relax, to understand that yes, it was happening for my growth, but I shouldn't beat myself up because I was experiencing them. You know, it's time for you to free yourself. Be in your own bubble, heal yourself, heal your energy. The bubble can also represent your aura. Maybe you need to heal your chakras, but also rebuild your aura that maybe is broken. And for that, you have some meditation on YouTube to help you. Exchanging gifts. All right. This is for me pretty much an energy that will come when you will be with a lover or when you will be with the right person in your life. Because I believe all these challenges, all these pains and lessons, they made you become a beautiful person. Now it's time for you to give back. Maybe to your angels, to your guides, give them love, send them love, or maybe send people love that you admire. Again, I'm seeing someone performing here. There is some type of celebrity, someone maybe that wants to be famous and successful, because I am seeing spotlight, performance, dancing, singing, anything that is about showing your authenticity, showing your skills, your talents, and using them to actually manifest the best life. It can also be you coming out of the box, so challenging yourself to be that shining star and you are giving this star also so it can be you sharing your light sharing your authenticity your essence your energy to people and these people are going to give back that love that support this admiration because i think you will inspire people or it can be that you are more the one that is giving back to your shining star if you are feeling like i am connected uh, solely with uh, a person that is successful, a person that can be a celebrity as well. Because I know that for some of you, twin flames of celebrities um, as their own twins. So it can also be a soulmate, by the way. It doesn't have to be that this is just for twins. It can also be if you are looking for someone in love. It can just be that this person will be your inspiration or you will be this inspiration for the person. So it's time for you to kind of exchange gifts. It can be compliments. It can be you giving them something, sending them some support. It can be a gift that you send them their way. It can be anything really because it's time for you to give and receive. It's time for exchanging things. And the last card, patience. And we have the number one, which is a new beginning, and the number six, which is love and beauty. I think, and I think this is pretty much for twin flames here, I think it's time for you to be patient because the timing might not be right for you to unite with this twin if you are still in separation. Or it can be that you need to be patient for things to clear because there might be some traumas and energy that are blocking you to experience the best life. So I think this is pretty much the angels, your guides telling you, please be patient. There is something coming for you. This is beautiful. It's going to ask you to clear away some darkness, to meditate, to reground yourself, rebuild yourself, rebuild your aura, heal yourself, work on yourself, love yourself, anything that is pretty much related to yourself. Because when you'll be ready, we will present you an opportunity for you to meet your twin flame, someone that is beautiful, someone that is going to help you. It can be a friend, it can be um, a lover, a soulmate, anything or anyone that is going to allow you to live the best life. So it can also be an offer about job, it can be a new direction towards your education, anything that is going to offer you to live your dream life or live with a partner of your dream. Because whatever you desire is going to manifest. Now it's going to take some time for you to manifest it. So please be patient. This is what the angels are telling you. I'm seeing spring season. I think the spring is going to allow you to maybe connect with your lover, start a new beginning with your lover, because this is what I was channeling with the number one and six. So it can be that this is going to come in summer as well, or because I'm seeing the flowers here summer or spring there might be something manifesting a shift and i think you are creating this one because if you are already healed and actually ascending towards something bright this is going to offer you an opportunity for you to manifest what you desire but now the angels are telling you be patient this is coming for you this is a beautiful reading really i hope you will like it 
Okay, if you do, please put a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And also let me know down below what you think about this reading. Take good care of your crystal souls. I love you.